Coming up, we'll hear from the new president and vice president-elect. Hey, we're looking at a bitterly cold start to head out the door on this Monday morning. A look ahead to your work week forecast. It's all coming up. From Camp KV Local News, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good, oh, over here. Good Monday morning, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jason Valentine, in for Carissa Lem Cole, and I'm here with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. And Kristen, I gotta give credit where credit's due. You called that snow we saw on Sunday morning. Yeah, some folks waking up to a little bit of some snow, especially if you live up in the, the kind of higher sure. elevations. You <laughs> saw a little bit of some of that snow. But yes, a little early to see it, but it's kind of uh, brought Christmas thoughts, I guess. Absolutely. To many people. But yeah, cold start out the door this morning. No snow in the forecast, at least today. So let's get you started. A live look right now. Legend Sky Cam Network currently in downtown Yakima. And that is where we actually have numbers down into the teens this morning. So uh, we are starting off uh, close to 19 degrees, 24 in Prosser, 27 in the Tri Cities, and those mid 20s for Walla Walla. So bundle up. We're going to have some sunshine to start off the day, but the clouds will start to build in for the second half of the day. We're looking at a dry start to the work week, but then some changes moving in, especially over the next couple of days. So more wet weather ahead in the forecast. But as we break down your Monday forecast for you, uh, we're going to see those temperatures 43 at lunchtime, turning mostly cloudy this afternoon with that high of 45. So again, tracking several rain chances on the way. I'll let you know when you'll need your umbrella. Your full forecast, Jason, is all coming up. Thank you so much, Kristen. A chilly Monday. Well, multiple news outlets, including the Associated Press, CNN, and ABC, projected Saturday morning that Joe Biden will indeed become the 46th president of the United States. The pivotal state that is set to help Biden is his home state of Pennsylvania. Celebrations continued across the country into the early hours Sunday morning as thousands of people hit the streets following the news that Joe Biden had become the president-elect to restore the soul of America, to rebuild the backbone of this nation, the middle class, and to make America respected around the world again. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris also spoke to a large, mostly masked crowd in Wilmington, Delaware, acknowledging her role as the first woman to be elected to that position. What a testament it is to Joe's character that he had the audacity to break one of the most substantial barriers that exist in our country and select a woman as his vice president. As world leaders offer their congratulations and support, President Donald Trump, for his part, has still not conceded. Trump and his supporters continue to claim election fraud, even though there has been no hard evidence. While a few counties have reported technology glitches and the need to rescan some votes, only minor changes were reported. Well, Washington State Governor Jay Inslee issued a congratulatory statement on Saturday for President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. Inslee said in part he is extremely optimistic about America's future under their leadership. We have the entire statement from Governor Inslee on our website, yaktrynews.com. Well, police said a group gathering and marching in Salem Saturday became an unlawful assembly. People began to gather after the announcement that Joe Biden was the projected winner of the presidential election. Most of the people were protesting the results of the election in what they are calling a, quote, stop the steal rally. That's when the group was met by counter protesters. Oregon State Police said they have made two arrests near the Capitol as two groups began to clash. OSP said troopers made one more arrest for disorderly conduct and interference later in the evening. Hundreds of Trump supporters rallied at John Dam Plaza Sunday afternoon for an election integrity protest. The protest, also known as Stop the Steal, happened throughout the U.S. this weekend. Protesters waved flags and signs as cars passed them along GW Way in Richland. Supporters told Cap Caveview they believe there was election fraud. To me, Stop the Steal means, to me it's obvious this election was stolen, that there were too many discrepancies, things that were counted overnight and I just want to see I want to see fairness. Supporters said they'd like an investigation into the election in states like Michigan, Pennsylvania, Nevada, and Wisconsin. 
Well, dozens of Biden and Harris supporters took to John Dam Plaza Saturday afternoon to celebrate the president and vice president elect. They waved signs and danced well into the evening. But one supporter says, although the election is over, uh, over excuse me, there's still a lot of work to be done. We have to understand that uh, the power of working people and, you know, all of us out here, that's what um, makes history happen. That's what keeps everything moving. Supporters also said they want to hold President Trump accountable for things like voter suppression. They added that with a new administration, hopefully change would be made. Well, who doesn't love working out? and dogs. <laughs> I like at least one of them. One local gym combined both on Saturday to raise money for the Benton Franklin Humane Society. Icon Fitness in Kennewick hosted deadlifts and doggies. Competitors could come in, bench press, and donate money or pet toys. One of the owners said he was inspired after visiting the society and getting a dog for himself. Um, we wanted to do something for the community and really everybody can get behind dogs. That's what we wanted to get, you know, something together for them and really to see if we could do it because there just hasn't been anything this year at all. The gym currently doesn't have plans for another fundraiser, but they say they are open to the idea and to make it bigger and better. And Kristen, I know you're a big fan of dogs and working out. Oh, so totally. it's a perfect thing for you. Oh, I could have totally been on board with this and that dog <laughs> in his hand was, was just too cute. Little sweetheart, yes. absolutely. <laughs> All right, it's 5.06. We're going to take a quick break on Good Morning Northwest, but before we do... Let's take a live look outside right now. Downtown Yakima, bundle up. We have some spots down into the teens this morning. We're talking more wet weather, though, as we move throughout your work week. I'll tell you when you can expect it. Your full forecast, it's coming up. Plus, also coming up, scammers are capitalizing on the COVID pandemic. We'll tell you about their latest dirty trick. We'll be right back, everyone. Step one, U.S. Cellular pays you back for your unused data at the end of the month. Okay, and step two? There is no step two. So you just pay me back for unused data? Yes. Okay, run me through that one more time. Which part? Um, just the whole thing part. Got it. So step one. US if you've forgotten what a fair deal sounds like, let us remind you. Switch to U.S. Cellular, the network ranked number one in network quality by J.D. Power. U.S. Cellular, upgrade to fair. Welcome to Prodigy Property Management, where stellar apartment living begins. Our large selection of apartment communities offer best in comfort and modern amenities for any lifestyle and budget. Our spacious studio, one, two, and three bedroom apartments have it all. From hardwood floors, walk-in closets, pools, chic lobbies, and on-site gyms. You'll love coming home every day. Check out our list of communities by visiting prodigypro.net. Buy Mart is back with great deals for our members with our savings guides and big buy flyers available online at buymart.com. Satisfy your sweet tooth with our deal on Keebler cookies and lint chocolates. And save even more with this week's big buys featuring Hills Brothers Coffee, only $5.99. And enjoy a healthy snack with planters, jumbo cashews, or mixed nuts, just $15.99 each. Check out this week's big buy and savings guides posted now at buymart.com. Buy Mart, we're ready when you are with great savings this holiday season. Imagine yourself working alongside a dentist, taking x-rays, sterilizing instruments, educating dental patients. You've just imagined a dental assisting career and Charter College can prepare you in less than a year. You'll be taught chairside assisting, infection control, radiology, and how to handle dental emergencies. To join the rewarding healthcare industry, start at chartercollege.edu because we work to get you to work. If you've been in a serious car accident, Tamaki Law knows that it can be overwhelming. Insurance companies, hospital bills, wage loss, and fear of the unknown. Tamaki Law is an experienced team that will fight for you and give you peace of mind. Tamaki Law's commitment to justice will allow you to focus on your health and family. No more worries, no more insurance headaches, no more. It's your call, so choose wisely. Call Tamaki Law. McCurley Chevrolet is out to win the final countdown at all costs. To win, we are slashing prices on all your favorite Chevy models. Like $8,000 off a new 2020 Silverado Crew RST, $6,000 off a new 2020 Chevy Equinox Premier, or $10,000 off a new Chevy Suburban Premier. Save big and help us win at the final countdown at McCurley Integrity Chevrolet in the Pasco Autoplex. And see all the final countdown deals at McCurleyIntegrityChevrolet.com. 
A portion of the news is sponsored by Fred's Appliance. Welcome back, everyone, on this Monday morning. Well, the Better Business Bureau is warning people not to fall for fake coronavirus studies. According to the BBB, scammers are sending out text messages promoting fake clinical trials. The emails claim the study pays upwards of $1,000 and that all you have to do is click on the link to take part. But once you click on the link, the BBB says malware downloads onto your computer or mobile device. Scammers use the malware to access your usernames, passwords, and other personal information. Even if the link takes you to a website, it may not be a real clinical trial. The BBB explains that real medical researchers would never ask for that kind of information during a screening. Well, at least three U.S. supermarket chains are taking steps to prevent a resurgence of hoarding. Kroger, H-E-B, and Giant are limiting purchases of certain pandemic favorites. Those include toilet paper, paper towels, disinfectants, and even in some cases, hand soap. Research firm IRI reports about 19% of paper products and 16% of household cleaners were out of stock last week. I can attest to that. Coming up, a full-blown blizzard pelting parts of Montana. We'll have that coming up next, and Kristen will have your full forecast. Everybody doing? Hey guys. Hi. It's time to lean on each other. All of you guys, so much great support. And laugh with each other. <laughs> Cheers. Let's do it together with caregiving chats and more. Come find us at aarp.org slash near you. Ready to take control of your future? Start by preparing for a great new career in heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration at Charter College. In 10 months, you could be working as an HVAC R tech, installing and repairing temperature control equipment in homes and businesses. You'll train in labs that mimic today's workplace with instruction from HVAC pros. To get started on your great future, visit chartercollege.edu because we work to get you to work. schools pretty much closed. We still honor the flag each morning, so please send a photo or video of your child doing the Pledge of Allegiance to pledge at capkvu.com. At Archibalds, we believe it's important to keep the traditions that have made our country great. We're proud to support Raise the Flag. Please send a photo or video of your child doing the Pledge of Allegiance to pledge at capkvu.com and we'll share it with viewers. Hi, I'm Charlie Grigg. My family's been serving the Tri-Cities for 81 years at Grigg's and the Tri-Cities A-Stores, and we have some deals that we don't want you to miss. Seven different tools from DeWalt and Stanley, your choice only $4.99. We have a two-pack of outdoor extension cords or a light-sensing outdoor timer, your choice $9.99. Peak windshield wash and de-icer, only $3.49. This 36-inch pre-lit wreath, while they last, only $28.67. So come see us at Grigg's and your Tri-Cities A-Stores, and from my family, thank you. I practice in Benton City. As I'm a pediatrician, I work with children. All the patients should know that we are here to help them. We're not here to judge them. We're not here to make them feel uncomfortable. We're here to address their medical needs. We're here to work with you. We're here to provide the highest quality care that we can and take care of you and take care of your children. Picture a man who stands inches away from those he talks to. His breath is reminiscent of a woolly yak found in the far reaches of the Himalayan mountains. Now, imagine you have a set of tools to help protect you from your funky friend. And more importantly, to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Enter social distancing, limiting your gathering size and the use of face coverings. Cover your air holes. B-Y-A. Stop the spread of COVID-19. Spread out and vanquish the Violator Zone. Tonight, it's Icon's Night on Dancing. When the stars dance to the hits from some of the biggest artists. The competition is going to be off the charts. Let's go. Icon's Night on Dancing, live ABC Tonight. A portion of the news is sponsored by Bymart. Welcome back, everyone. Well, the Biden-Harris transition team is starting on its response to the COVID-19 pandemic. President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will be briefed from an advisory board today. After that meeting, the former vice president will give remarks on his plans to combat the deadly virus and boost the U.S. economy. 
The president-elect is also expected to name some of the leaders who will be on his coronavirus task force. They will include former Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy and former U.S. Food and Drug Administration Commissioner Dr. David Kessler. Well, former President George W. Bush says he called Joe Biden and Kamala Harris yesterday to congratulate them on winning the White House. Bush is the only living former Republican president. He says President-elect Biden won the opportunity to lead the United States in an election that was fundamentally fair. In a statement, Bush also said President Trump has the right to request recounts, though President-elect Biden's win is clear. Bush was the 43rd president and says he knows Joe Biden to be a good man. He says he and his wife, Laura, urge all Americans to wish the next president and vice president well. Time Magazine is capturing President-elect Joe Biden's win with this cover that hits newsstands November 13th. It features a triumphant Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris on stage for their victory speeches Saturday. The cover reads, A Time to Heal, possibly referring to President-elect's plea for unity that night. The photo reflects the historic nature of the moment since the two are wearing masks. Harris is the first woman, first black person, and first South excuse me, South Asian, to be elected vice president-elect. Joe Biden will be the nation's oldest commander-in-chief. A bipartisan group from the last three White Houses is urging the Trump administration to move forward to immediately begin the post-election transition process. The call from the Center for Presidential Transition Advisory Board comes as the General Services Administration has yet to formally recognize Democrat Joe Biden as the president-elect. That's a necessary move to free up money for the transition and clear the way for Biden's team to begin putting in place the transition process at agencies. Well, a blizzard is causing accidents and power outages in part of north central Montana. Goodness, you can see how covered the roads are. The National Weather Service in Great Falls is expecting some areas to see snow drifts in the two to three foot range. By noon on Sunday, the city of Haver saw 11 and a half inches of snow fall. The amount of snow isn't what makes a snowstorm a blizzard. It's the wind and lack of visibility. Blizzards have sustained winds of at least 35 miles per hour with visibility at a quarter mile or less. The storm had gusts of 40 to 60 miles per hour and visibility at times near zero. Now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. Yes, and Jason, you said it. You don't need snow to actually have a blizzard. You don't need to be actually having snow falling from the sky. Just as you mentioned, the visibilities need to be reduced and those winds need to pick up. But, you know, thankfully for us over the weekend, we had a little bit of some snow for some locations uh, that has now all melted. We're actually looking at a very cold start out the door, but we will have several more rain chances moving in uh, as we take you throughout your work week. Pretty quiet start out the door this morning. This is a live look for Michelin's Columbia Point. But as we take a look ahead for uh, the coming week, no rain out there today, but we will have another rain chance on Tuesday. Pretty dry for Veterans Day and Thursday, and then another rain chance Friday and even to the upcoming weekend. As a matter of fact, taking a look at the uh, Climate Prediction Center and what it even has in store for us, this is November 16th through the 22nd. So next week, the majority of the Pacific Northwest will continue to kind of stay in this unsettled weather pattern. Uh, so more rain showers expected, mountain snow showers as well. So uh, unfortunately, we're not looking at an end to any kind of uh, wet weather that we've been seeing around the area. So radar and satellite this morning. Once the sun comes up, we will have plenty of sun in store for us, at least for the first half of the day today. Clouds, though, already starting to build in on the west side. That will start to skirt in here for the second half of the day today. So we will be looking at those clouds building in here and eventually some rain showers developing for us just after about 9 or 10 o'clock for tonight. So you can see here the second half of the day turning mostly cloudy. A few rain and snow showers developing into the higher elevations just after 9, 10 o'clock for us pushing uh, into portions of the Tri-Cities. Might even start off as a little bit of a wintry mix for the Yakima and the Kittitas Valley uh, again for later on tonight. Tomorrow morning, dry start, but keep the umbrella nearby. Still looking at a few showers popping up from time to time. There's a look at 10 o'clock in the morning. Even a shower or two still expected by Tuesday afternoon. It's going to be a breezy day tomorrow as well. We're looking at those winds up to about 25 miles per hour. Now for Veterans Day on Wednesday, it should be a beautiful day overall. Back to a mostly sunny sky. And then by Thursday, we're still looking at more 
Nice weather in store for us. More sunshine before the wet weather spills back in here on Friday. But look at these numbers. Right now, 19 degrees in Yakima, 27 in the Tri-Cities. Mid-20s for Walla Walla. Dayton this morning down to about 15 degrees. And then 22 in Pendleton. Thankfully, there's not much of a wind uh, to speak of this morning. Uh, pretty calm in Connell. A 5-mile-per-hour wind in the Tri-Cities. And then up to about 9 over into the Yakima area. So as we look ahead to your, uh, this, this afternoon, we're looking at 43 in Yakima. Yakima with 44 degrees and Toppenish. Mid 40s for the Tri Cities, Hermiston and DeProsser. And then over into Walla Walla at 42. Dayton this afternoon at 38. So your seven day forecast after we have some, uh, after well, we will have some rain showers tonight. Those numbers in the 20s and 30s. We're looking at uh, more showers in the forecast for your Tuesday. As you can see that Veterans uh, Day forecast there on Wednesday, mostly sunny at 48, 47 on Thursday, and then more wet weather as we spill into the uh, upcoming weekend. Really going to be a breezy day on Saturday, but our temperature is going to be a little bit warmer. 53 Saturday, 52 on Sunday. And then that seven-day forecast in Yakima, we're looking at that sun to return Wednesday as well. And the next best chance for some wet weather Friday and into the weekend. Thank you so much, Kristen. Looks like it's time to get the rain gear out. Well, it's 520 here. We're going to take a break on Good Morning Northwest. But coming up, we're remembering and celebrating the life and career of the late Alex Trebek. We'll be right back. Rise on the Monster Angus Thick Burger. With sizzling bacon and two one-third pound Angus beef patties. The Monster is your daddy now. <laughs> the new Monster Angus Thick Burger at Carl's Jr. Feed your happy. Ready or not, here I come. Gillette ProGlide and ProGlide Gel. Five blades and a pivoting flex ball designed to get virtually every hair on the first stroke while washing away dirt and oil. So you're ready for the day with a clean shave and a clean face. Ready now, here I come, you can't hide. I'm gonna find you and keep you happy. Turn your email into a $1,000 shopping spree at Bymart. That's right, Bymart is giving out $1,000 to a lucky member every week. Simply go to buymart.com and sign up for our email newsletter to be entered to win. You'll get exclusive access to our newsletter where we post all our best deals first. And congratulations to Megan B. in Beaverton for being the first $1,000 winner. Turn your email address into a $1,000 shopping spree only at buymart.com. Let's go. It's the final days of the Veterans Day sale at Furniture Row, but you better hurry because everything is on sale. You'll find sofas, dining sets, bedrooms, and mattresses at our lowest prices ever. Plus, decorating your entire home just got easier with five years no interest financing and free shipping right to your door. And to salute our armed forces, all veterans and active duty military get a special in-store offer. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. But don't wait. The Veterans Day sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Hello. Oh. I wish to inquire about your free phone deal. Is there anything hidden I should be aware of? No, sir. No hidden plan requirements? You choose your plan. No hidden phone trade-ins? Keep your phone. No hidden activation fees or other trickery where video recorded evidence would be beneficial? None. Interesting. Lovely scarf. What camera? Get the latest phones free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Upgrade to fair. The Monster Angus Thick Burger is tempting you with sizzling bacon and one-third pound Angus beef patties. Get close to the screen. Focus. Unfocus. Looks like you'll do anything for the Monster. The new Monster Angus Thick Burger at Carl's Jr. Feed your happy. A portion of the news is sponsored by Allen Brecky Law Offices. Find out what your rights are under the law. Good Monday morning, everyone. Well, it was sad news to wake up yesterday morning. Alex Trebek, the legendary host of the popular quiz show Jeopardy, has died. 
Trebekah Stable, a staple on the television show, died Sunday morning. Jeopardy confirmed the news on Twitter, saying he passed away at his home, surrounded by family and friends. He survived by his wife of 30 years and three children. His career in game show business lasted five decades. The long-running game show earned him five Daytime Emmy Awards and a Lifetime Achievement Award for Outstanding Game Show Host from the Television Academy. Trebek was 80 years old. Well, beloved longtime Today Show weatherman Al Roker announced Friday that he has been diagnosed with prostate cancer. The 66-year-old shared the news on today that his cancer was found in September after a routine medical checkup. He said it was caught early, but it's a little aggressive, so surgery is imminent. The TV host said he wanted to go public because one in nine men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. And for African-American men, it's one in seven. Roker says he feels optimistic and hopes to be back on the air in about two weeks. Well, the late Whitney Houston was officially inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Excuse me. The virtual ceremony also saw posthumous inductions for the notorious B.I.G. and T.Rex. Nine Inch Nails, the Doobie Brothers, and Depeche Mode round out the artists in this year's class. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Now, Kristen, getting back to Alex Trebek, at least in my household, he was a part of almost every night. Yes, he was. And even when, you know, as when I was at home back in Ohio, my, right. my parents would watch <laughs> him all the time. So Yeah, me and my dad were very competitive yes. <laughs> on Jeopardy. All right, coming up, the Seahawks faced off against the Bills. We'll let you know how they fared. Plus more details on what led up to a deadly shootout with police in Vancouver. And at 526, as we're giving you a live look outside, pretty quiet but frigid start out the door. A few locations down into the teens. A lot of wet weather to get through as you move throughout your work week. Your forecast, it's all coming up.